So next up, we're going to look at Clubhouse. Now, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's an app that's currently only for the iPhone. So you Android users are going to have to wait until it's available for you. And essentially, it's a podcasting app that also allows you to network with people like you do on Facebook. It's definitely early days for it, but I think it has huge potential for, you, for all of you for the following reason. It has a huge demographic of affluent people on it. One of the main selling points in this app is education. So to explain what you can do with it, I'll go through the app and then reveal the power it has for you. So you simply install the app on your iPhone, but there is a snag. You do need to get an invite for it. And unfortunately, I've used all mine up so far. So if you know someone who is on it, then ask them for one. And once you get on the app, here is the home screen. And these are what are called clubs, and those clubs then have rooms. So the Three Squared Incorporated is a club, and their room is the de design and built with shipping containers. Now, once you join, any of you can create a room on whatever topic you want, and then simply invite all the people on your network list in Clubhouse to join you. Now, you don't need to be a club to host a room, but it is better, and I will come back to this later. However, but um, the point about the clubs is you need to apply to create a club. And I'm going to post a link on that in the comments here in a while, as it's this big, massive, long URL. Now, I'll, I'll explain this a bit more in a minute, as I want to go through all the parts of the app first, so it'll come a bit clearer as we go on. So this is the home screen of your app. So when you get into the app, you're going to want to do a search and find clubs or people you're interested in. And here we press the search button. So if I type in architecture, for example, you'll see these are all the clubs you can find in here to follow. And there's a tab here too for people. So you can follow all the people on your phone list if they are in Clubhouse and you can follow people inside the club too. So you follow other people and, and, in, and clubs and in return, you get those people following you. So here's that architecture club. And as you can see, it has over a thousand members. So anytime you create, they, anytime this club creates a room, they can then invite all 1100 of these people to come into the room and listen to whatever topic they have on. So if we come back to the home screen here and press on the calendar button, this will get all the results coming up that day. So here you have a speed networking event on at 10 a.m. And this is basically a room. So you go into this, you click on this, you go into the room, and then you'll find someone who is speaking uh, on that topic in that room. Um, so you've got the speed networking at 10 a.m. You also have a di digital entrepreneur uh, event happening at 10 a.m. And uh, those are rooms actually created by a club, or the, the rooms are created by clubs or people. Now, as I said, you don't need to have a club to create a room and talk to people. But you can see the sourcing property one on the bottom here is created by a business. It's created by Business Growth Hacks Club. So that one's by a club, whereas the ones above are by individuals. So you can see the person's name right after. And to create a room, you simply go back to the home screen and click on that green button on the bottom. And that will bring you to this screen and you create a room around whatever topic you want, and then you invite who you want in it too, or you can schedule a room to start at a specific date and time. And I'm actually delivering this workshop on Clubhouse at the same time right now too, so I have my phone open beside me. And in your room, you just talk into your phone's microphone, or like I'm talking into my laptop on my phone, and the other people in the room can hear you. And if they want to talk, then they just raise their hand, there's a little button to raise your hand, and then they can come on and start talking as well. So it's very interactive. And the final thing about Clubhouse is your bio. You want to have a decent bio pick, and your bio should be almost like a CV. It should be like bullet points on what you do, your achievements, some personal info, and that kind of thing. And that's the 100 foot view of Clubhouse. So I bet you're all asking after I blabbered through all that, where is the opportunity for you? Well, the cornerstone of the high end resi social media blueprint is specialization on your projects and clients. So once you get into Clubhouse, I would advise creating a club for your project niche. So if you specialize in contemporary homes, then create a club in it because anyone who is interested in contemporary homes will join that club. And then you have a captive audience to talk about your expertise. And you could create, a, you could also create a club for home builders in your area. There's a hundred different things you can create a club out of to attract your ideal potential clients to join. And here's the thing, these clubs do not currently exist because this is a new app. Now that will change over the coming weeks, so now is the time to do it. And it's currently an easy way to build up a big audience in the shortest amount of time, and it's free. Now, unfortunately, you do need to apply to create a club, and the application process is currently frozen due to the amount of people doing just that. 
So I'm in the same boat. I'm also waiting for this to free up. So I advise you, get on the app now, start following people and be inactive in some of the rooms and clubs that interest you. And then create a room of your own to talk about whatever project niche you're in. And then keep coming back to this club application page so when it opens back up, you can apply for your own club straight away. And what I'll do is I'll put the link to this, to this page in the comments after this presentation, because it's this big, mad, long URL.